Joe Biden was sworn in as President of the United States on January 20, 2021, offering a message of unity and restoration to a deeply divided country. But Biden's age, gaffes, and debate performance with Republican opponent Donald Trump fueled concerns over the leader's re-election bid and eventually he pulls out of presidential race. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States the office of President of the United States and will to the best of my ability and will to the best of my ability preserve, protect and defend preserve, protect and defend America President Biden stumbled while boarding Air Force One at Joint Base Andrews on March 19, 2021 on his way to visit Georgia, Biden tripped on the steps to the plane, bounced back and fell again before walking up the last of the steps, turning to salute and boarding the plane. Biden took a slip from his bike on June 18, 2022 as he stopped to greet supporters and media during a weekend trip to Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. He appeared to be uninjured. Job. Biden tripped and fell after handing out the last diploma at a graduation ceremony at the U.S. Air Force Academy on June 1, 2023. The then 80-year-old U.S. President quickly got up on one knee, helped by three people and walked back to his seat unassisted. In a new verbal slip-up, Biden said on June 28, 2023, that Russian President Vladimir Putin was losing the war in Iraq when he meant to say Ukraine. To what extent has Vladimir Putin been weakened by recent events? It's hard to tell, but he's clearly losing the war in Iraq. He's losing the war at home. Biden mistakenly referred to pop superstar Taylor Swift as Britney Spears during remarks at a Thanksgiving event at the White House on November 20, 2023. You could say even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance Tour or, or, or Rip Britney's Tour. She's down in, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. As you know, in February 2024, the president mistakenly referred to Egyptian president al Sisi as the leader of Mexico, the comment came as he was making remarks on a special council report concerning his handling of classified documents, and that referred to his memory as poor, which he rebuked in an angry rebuttal. As you know, initially, the president of Mexico, al Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. My memory is not good. My memory is fine. My memory, take a look at what I've done since I've become president. None of you thought I could pass any of the things I got passed. How'd that happen? You know, I guess I just forgot what was going on. Mr. 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 I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. It's How totally bad out. is your memory and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad, I let you speak. That's, uh, that's, that's my memory. Your memory has gotten worse, Mr. No, President? Look, my memory is not good. My memory is fine. My memory, take a look at what I've done since I've become president. During the debate on June 27, Biden 81.
failed to refute Trump's claims and his fumbling, halting performance sparked calls for Democrats for him to end his quest for a second term and for soul-searching or resignations among top aides. If they just paid 24 percent or 25 percent, either one of those numbers, they'd raise $500 million, billion dollars, I should say, in a 10-year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. On July 11, Biden had a series of verbal slip-ups alongside the NATO summit in Washington, an unfortunate development for the 81-year-old as he tries to move past concerns that he is too old to run for re-election. Who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> President Putin. He's going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President. I'm better. You are a hell of a lot better. <laughs> My question for you is, how are you incorporating these developments into your decision to stay? And separately, what concerns do you have about Vice President Harris's ability to beat Donald Trump if she were at the top of the ticket? Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President. So I think she's not qualified to be president. Biden is there. the oldest person Number ever one. to serve as U.S. The president. <clears throat>